Hey everybody, we've got another great question from Fun Fur Freak. Thank you very much for the great questions. His question is, this word and this word, what's the pronunciation difference? Well, let's start with the beginning here. This sounds like D and this sounds like D. D, D. D, the sound kind of goes up, D, D, the sound kind of falls, goes down. D, 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 okay? However, when we say this word or these words, naturally, they both sound the same. And it sounds like D, D, which is basically D and an apostrophe. It's a schwa vowel sound. It's a D and a schwa sound. And schwa sound means uh, uh. So, d, 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 when we say it naturally. Now, the ending, let's look at the ending. In this case, the D sound is going to sound like a T. And in this word, the D sound is going to sound like a D. Why? Why is that different? Because of the middle part. Here, the S sounds like an S, and here, the S sounds like a Z. So, East, which is basically like E-A-S-T, East, and Eased, Eased which is basically E-E-Z-E-D. So, we've got this part left. And here, once again, there's also a difference. In this case, we say S. And here, we say Z. <laughs> Why don't we just change the C to an S and the S to a Z? <laughs> so, once again, the first word, Deceased. Deceased. It means to have died. He is deceased. He is dead. Here, diseased. Diseased. It means he has an illness. He is diseased. He has some illness. Okay? So, the tricky part for a lot of students is, is the S and the Z sound. What is the difference between the S and the Z? Let me try and explain with a diagram. These are your upper teeth, and these are your lower teeth. Okay, so it's a terrible picture. Uh, so in your mouth, your upper teeth and your lower teeth, and then you have your tongue, and your tongue kind of rests like this. When we make the Z sound, the Z sound, the tongue comes all the way in here in front of the teeth, or right behind the teeth, right behind the teeth. It doesn't touch the teeth. But the tongue is going to vibrate off the upper inner part of the skin, the alveolar ridge. It's going to vibrate. Also, Z. So the tongue is kind of vibrating, vibrating off here, and zzz, zzz, there's vibration right here. This is the Z sound, so the red color will be the Z sound. Zzz, zzz, diseased, 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 diseased. The tongue, the sides of the tongue, the sides of the tongue are kind of touching both of the upper teeth. Diseased, diseased, diseased. However, when we make the S sound, the S sound, deceased, deceased. When we make the S sound, there's no vibration. Deceased. And there's no vibration with the alveolar ridge. Deceased. Deceased. And the tongue 
is balanced right between the upper skin and lower skin and it's not touching the teeth. Deceased, deceased, diseased, diseased. He is diseased. The deceased man died because he was diseased. The deceased man died because he was diseased. The deceased man died because he was diseased. It's a very difficult word. The pronunciation Z and S. D, D, and T. The diseased man died because... Uh, the deceased man died because he was diseased. So I hope that helps. What I want you and other listeners to do is go ahead and leave an audio file or make a video of you saying deceased and diseased. Why not use this sentence? I'll, I'll put it here. The deceased man died because of the disease. 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 That's a sad situation. I should not be happy. But I hope I helped your pronunciation a little bit. Leave an audio file. I'll check it and keep those questions coming. Thanks a lot, Fun for Freak. Thank you to everybody for watching the video. And if you can, give me a thumbs up and make it a favorite. That helps other people find this video. Thank you. See you next time.